get an early Mother's Day gift, a visit with their children. They're in prison, but part of a Girl Scout program to keep the bond strong. Channel's reporter Beth Hawkins shows how it works. Beth? Karen, it is a program which pairs mentors with children of incarcerated parents. It lets parents reconnect with their children and plan for a job as well. <laughs> for these moms, studying is key. You just keep on adding stuff to it, so it's just like an open book. They're brushing up on event planning while outside of the usual classroom setting. They're members of the Turley Correctional Facility. I had been in county so long without, you know, getting to see her that she, I guess she had lost, like, faith because, you know, like, I was telling her I was in college, you know, stuff like that. And then once she finally got to see me, it bonded us back together. Tuesday, Kalumala is talking about her daughter, who's part of the Girl Scouts Beyond Bars program. It includes weekly visits for them. We eat with them. We play games with them. We books, play games. It gives Tuesday a chance to parent and prepare for a career. If mom can go back to college and grandma can go back to college, certainly the children can. And Latavia, a bond with mom. She dressed ready. Uh-huh. She does her hair pretty. There's nobody like mom. Program coordinators say it's worked for hundreds of families. They're great. <laughs> Every last one of them. Karen Welch will go home to her four children in a few months. Whenever I go home, I basically want to just be able to keep building on the relationship, and I want to keep them involved in Girl Scouts because it's something that, I mean, it's important to them and it matters. And in the meantime, they have mentors. Take me to go feed a goose. My daughter loves her, like, loves to be with her. Oh, went to the movies. You know, she's excited when she talks about her giving these moms a little peace of mind while they're away. And some of those moms graduated today. Girl Scouts Beyond Bars needs mentors, so to learn more, you can log on to kjrh.com and look under local news. Beth Hawkins, 2 News, works for you.